that's the 3D Studio up and running. First thing we do is check the units. So it's customize, unit setup, metric meters, system unit, one unit equals one meter. Okay, because the model you're bringing it into, the, the scene, is all in meters as well, so everything kind of behaves itself then. Not got any problems with units. Okay, file import. So we're pulling in a .dwg from the desktop. Okay, cluster .dwg. Okay, we want to rescale it. Okay, so it's not huge, we're only about you're going to be something like this, you know, about 10 meters by 10 by the, the general height of them is going to be about the same, just under three meters. I've got the welding ticked, so it joins everything together. I've got auto smoothing on. Some of the curves on this on the characters will come through looking a bit smoother. And it's going to try and make them face the correct way. So that's the orient the normals consistently. So we OK that. Okay, the viewports aren't looking too bad. We can see the colours have come through from AutoCAD. No materials though. So that's really all we need to do here is go to the materials editor. Okay, now just make sure your render setup, make sure your render setup is saying ART. Okay because it can affect the, the way the materials editor behaves. Okay, so just make sure you're on ART before you assign and choose any materials. You can use a preset for this. You don't have to create a new material yourself. So let's just go with glossy paint and give it a name. O1 default is not very friendly. So let's let's call it glossy paint. Okay, if we drag that individually, we'll have to put it on each one. Okay, but if you have the object selected initially, then drag it, it will put them on all of them. As long as you click this assign to selection, OK. And that's all we need to do in 3D Studio. Okay, we need to export it now as an FBX file. This is a more kind of it's a more standard, modern version of a uh, way of getting files from one bit of 3D software to another. So it's file. Now we haven't saved this yet, so let's just save it anyway. So save as. Let's save it on as a cluster.max. Just in case we need to come back to it. And then file, export, export. Okay, I'll save this to the desktop as well. Cluster. Okay, save. I've already got it there from earlier on, that's okay. Just click yes. We haven't got anything special in the scene that requires us to, to make any changes here. So we can just click okay. So it's generating cluster.fbx. And that's the 3D Studio component complete. Okay, let's just keep it running. Now, I wouldn't leave this software open and I wouldn't leave AutoCAD open because they they are quite greedy when it comes to memory usage. They, they kind of hold on to it and don't let any other software get it. So, you know, whenever you're using Photoshop as well, Photoshop's awful greedy. It kind of says, right, I got here first, I'm keeping all the memory. So, you know, try and avoid having too many bits of software open when you're doing, you know, heavy duty work like this. So hit save. Okay, and then close AutoCAD as well. 